This week, my family and I are traveling around Alaska to do some fishing, sightseeing, and I have a bear tag that I would really like to fill. But first, we do a little bit of exploring and head down the Seward Highway. creek and it was full of spawning salmon. And then we watched how the locals catch their food. And then we finished our first day in Anchorage with a trip to see our good friend David Green at his furrier shop. We used to have a showcase here and around here, but as the accessories and the blankets and things became more popular, we needed a place to, to display them. Right. So we just kind of ripped it out. And, but we kept this wall. You know the wall of fame yeah you know I basically and we kept this mirror like this because my cousin who's out there supposedly she cracked it when she was a little girl in the 60s right. so i just kind of kept a little you know a little nostalgia here and yeah you know here you have uh, some of the famous people who've come through over the years yeah this is pat schroeder this is sam sneed oh, yeah. this is ted stevens who the airport's named after he was oh, the yeah. longest running uh, senator for all those years mm -hmm. you have my grandparents here that are meeting with people here in the military yeah and my grandfather had made the muskrat liners for the military when they were out in the Aleutian Islands and during World War II. Really? You know, so they're out there protecting the Aleutian yeah. Islands from the Japanese uh, back then. You Bob Hope, Larry Hagman mm -hmm. from Dallas, then you have uh, Steven Seagal and Sugar Ray Leonard mm -hmm. as well. They have coats, scarves, gloves, hats, anything you could imagine being made out of fur. They have it. Or we'll make it for you. It's truly an amazing store. If you're ever in Anchorage, go check it out. When we return, we board our flight to camp where my family will do some fishing and Austin and I will head out to try to fill my bear tag. Hunter Safety System introduces the Limashield, the first ever scent control harness. We're in Alaska and after a few days of exploring, we're headed off to camp where my family will be doing some fishing and Austin and I will be off to try and fill my bear tag. Once we arrived at Telerik Creek Lodge, we met the owner, met our guides, got our license, and we were off to bear camp for the week. Well, we made it to the lodge, and we just got down to the float plane, and we split up from the rest of the family. It's just Austin and I are gonna be heading out to camp. We're gonna be brown bear hunting for the week, and the rest of the crew is gonna be salmon fishing and doing some other fun stuff so it should be a pretty good week up here in Alaska. Fire extinguishers under the front of my seat, emergency gear and survival gear is in the back under the yellow tarp and you guys got enough survival gear in there piled on top to not worry about.
Lake where we landed the plane and all of our stuff is already here for our camp. So we're gonna unload and probably set up camp and do a little bit of scouting uh, this afternoon to see if we can find a bear for tomorrow. While we're busy setting up camp, let's go see how the first night of fishing is going for the family. The yeah. Dolly Pardons. Yeah, like yes. <laughs> Do Dolly Vardens? We're, no, Dolly we're, I thought it was Dolly Parton. Are we at Dolly World? We're at Dolly World, yo. Yeah. Uh, I know it looks a lot like a Alaska. <laughs> I'm trying to catch some big giant rainbow trout. Mm -hmm. I saw pink on it. Mm. Come on, Mom. Yeah. What I do? Inconsistent pressure. Everything else. Quick turn. Consistency. Consistency. Yeah, I, got, I got a lot to learn, but I'll get it. We'll I'll get you. Better. We'll get you trained up. Well, their first day on the water was definitely a learning experience, but as the week goes on, they get into some pretty awesome fishing. Stay tuned, when we return, I head out in search of my first brown bear. This segment brought to you by Whitetail Institute. Research equals results. We made it to the lake where we landed the plane and all of our stuff is already here for our camp. So we're gonna unload and probably set up camp and do a little bit of scouting uh, this afternoon to see if we can find a bear for tomorrow. It's our first day on my brown bear hunt and we decided to get a good vantage point. So we hiked up this mountain here and uh, we can see a long ways and now we're just hoping to see a brown bear that we can go after, after tomorrow. Oh, we just got back from our hike on our first day here at camp. We couldn't hunt today because you can't fly and hunt on the same day. And the uh, season actually doesn't open until tomorrow. So we'll be back at it in the morning and hopefully we'll have better luck finding some bears. For the next four days, we hiked in glass all the valleys around camp in hopes of finding a giant bear. But unfortunately, we were unsuccessful. The high winds and rain seemed to never stop. And as every day went by, the next would get harder as our bodies and minds started to weaken. We were down to our last couple days in the bush and we needed to make something happen. It's our last day on my brown bear hunt up here in Alaska. Um, we have not seen a bear yet, but we're over in an area where another hunter killed a bear and saw lots of other bears. So hopefully today is the day. Like I said, it's our very last day. We've got to make something happen here quick. As we started to hike to the top of the mountain, weather moved in in a matter of minutes, and we were engulfed in fog and rain. mountain here and there was a ton of fog and you could barely see anything but finally we found a spot where it's a little bit more clear looks like a pretty good spot for bears so we're gonna glass here for a little bit and see if we can find a bear there were animals moving in the valley below us but not a bear in sight we hiked down the mountain to get out of the fog and then we noticed our first bear
spotted our first bear in eight days, finally. He's a long ways away and he is going the wrong way, uh, but we're gonna get a good look at him and I don't know what's gonna happen. Unfortunately, that bear was moving away from us and just wasn't quite what we were looking for. This was the hardest hunt I have ever been on and unfortunately we were unsuccessful. It's so hard because we only have a few minutes to show you guys how this hunt went down, but there was so much more that went with it. So many hikes, so many miles put in, and by the end of it, Austin and I were just emotionally, mentally, and physically drained. But I hope you enjoyed watching it. This segment brought to you by Marathon, fueling the American spirit. We got back from our spike camp today to the lodge and we are headed out fishing. We have been waiting to do this ever since we got here. We were afraid we weren't going to have time, but they got us out of the bush. Um, and so we are going to go and have a little bit of fun today. It, it was a tough week, so it's going to be exciting to actually have some action. <laughs> We were off to a good start and after catching a few silvers off the shore, we headed down river to try to catch some rainbows. I just caught my first rainbow, it was pretty, pretty sweet, I've never caught one before so that was that was a cool experience. <laughs> now they're catching another trophy rainbow here. Over there. That was awesome. Another giant rainbow. It's like one right after another. It's like Hatching. We headed into shore to catch a few more silvers and cook up some lunch. Can you guess what's on the menu? Yep, fresh salmon. There's my first salmon. We just got here through the lure and immediately got a salmon. Tillaric Creek Lodge. And we're on Tillaric Creek. So it's just perfect. Nice fillet. stomachs with some fresh silver salmon we headed out to try and catch some sockeye and on the way there wouldn't you know it there was a brown bear <music> 
Unfortunately, we could not hunt for bear in that area, but it was still cool to see. Now it's back to fishing where I catch a nice silver. We just uh, caught some sockeyes and uh, we're having an amazing time. They're down here and the only way we could get them to bite was finally is to just keep casting over them, casting over and cast over until I ticked them off. So uh, very exciting time, fun to be here. Now we'll head back to the boat and uh, do some more adventuring. While we were headed out to our next spot, we took a detour to check out the only freshwater sea lions in the world. Oh, and it started to pour. Welcome to Alaska. The rain wasn't giving up, so we headed in for the night. The next day, the family took a ride on a jet boat up the falls. It was insane. Check this out. amazing folks we are in Iliamna, Alaska and John brought us down these rapids with this jet boat and it's just crazy we're having a blast here you drop me off so you can show me how this jet boat works That was awesome. There are so many things that you can do in Alaska and we highly recommend that everyone go see the beauty of it at least once in their life. That's all the time we have for this week. Make sure and tune in next week and stay up to date with everything that we do on Facebook, Instagram, and at bigboystv.com. Finished our first day in Anchorage. Anchorage? Wow. Fresh salmon. I just said salmon. <laughs> Down to the river bend. Fresh salmon. <laughs> I said it again! <laughs>